guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another recipe video for you. Of course, I love making them. So today we are making movie night snacks or just snacks or treats for if you want to have some friends around or watch a movie or play some games or anything like that. These snacks are perfect. Hopefully there's a lot of different things in here so you can find something that you would like. Please make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you like this video and if you want to see more videos like it. I would love it if you would join our little family on here. Also don't forget to follow me on Instagram because I post on there a lot. I've also been loving Instagram stories recently when I'm not too busy so yeah definitely follow me on there as well. The username is just a wildflower life just like my channel name. So yeah, that was everything I think, and without further ado, let's just jump right into the recipes. Okay, so the first we're making is this super easy and delicious chocolate fondue. And here are the ingredients, so I said chocolate or the other ingredients, so you can choose either if you want to just make, find a chocolate and just melt that, you can do that, or you can do like coconut oil, maple syrup and cacao powder. I'm mixing both just to show you guys the options, you could totally do that as well if you have a little bit of chocolate but then also some coconut oil and the other ingredients, but you don't have to do all of them. Then you just want to cut up whatever fruit or berries you want to use. I use strawberries because I love strawberries and chocolate. And also banana is amazing, super easy, super delicious. So I just did some of that as well. And that is everything. All you have to do is melt the chocolate. Make sure that you do it in like a double boiler with some water and that the water is not too hot so that the chocolate separates. But other than that, you're good to go and enjoy! So this next one is one of my new obsessions. It turned out so, so good so, and it's also super easy. All you need are some potatoes and if you want to make the guac, some ingredients for that. But wh what I did is just to peel the potatoes and then cut them into wedges. And then I just added the, a little bit of olive oil and then the spices. So I just did some paprika powder, a tiny bit of salt and some rosemary, which is amazing on potatoes. At least I love it. And then I just mix everything around and then just spread that out on a baking sheet with some parchment paper. Super easy. Bake it in the oven for 40 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius, or I think that's 360 Fahrenheit, something like that. For the guac, I just took the avocado and just mashed that completely up in a bowl. Super, super simple, just with a fork. And then I added the rest of the ingredients. So I added a little bit of tomato, a little bit of onion, and then just mix that in and then added a little bit of lemon juice cilantro in here as it's really really good as well so you could add that if you want to and then just a little bit of salt and pepper stir that in and just serve it it's so good the potatoes are so so delicious and with the guacamole with kind of the chunkiness of the tomatoes and the onion it's just so good i highly highly recommend that you guys try it out and it's perfect as like a movie snack or something like that so I feel like you can never go wrong with a smoothie, like whenever, so I feel like if you're having friends over, a smoothie is a really nice treat. You don't have to make a big one, just like a small one for everyone to taste. I just used banana, strawberries and a little bit of frozen raspberries. You can of course use whatever you want. I also added some almond butter, some almond milk and some water and that is it, super simple. You can use whatever ingredients you have. I just love this one because it's mild but super tasty. It tastes pretty much like candy and it looks really pretty as well and I just love it. It's so good and just so refreshing and really good for you but it tastes super nice as well. So I feel like this final one is kind of like a movie must have, which is popcorn. You can use microwave popcorn or whatever you want. I like to make my popcorn in like a pan. So what I do is I take a teaspoon of coconut oil and then one coconut kernel and then I put that on the heat. I let the coconut oil melt and then when everything is hot enough and perfectly ready for the popcorn to pop, you will see that the little kernel, it will just pop right out of there and then you know that everything is ready so then you can add the rest of your popcorn i just added a few tablespoons this time because i didn't need that much but you can of course make however much you want and here's where it's really gets customizable i just use this like cappuccino powder which is basically cocoa powder with vanilla and cinnamon but you could also use just cinnamon and add a little bit of salt as well and i also added some cacao nibs and it's like sweet and salty and 
really really delicious so that was everything i really hope you guys enjoyed this as always if you make any of my recipes please tag me on instagram if you post a picture of it because i would absolutely love to see it thank you guys so so much for watching please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and definitely subscribe to stick around for more videos i hope you're having an awesome day and i will talk to you very soon bye